In this video, I'm looking at the NF Audio NM2 Plus Professional Series Studio In Ear Monitors. What's cracking, audio fans? It's David here from Prime Audio Reviews, and here we have the box for the NM2 Plus. And I just wanted to quickly show you this box here. Uh, just because it's a little bit different from what we're used to although what you actually get inside the box is fairly standard I just like the way it's presented so you get the cardboard sleeve on the outside and then you've got this sort of clamshell box on the inside and when you open that up in this foam insert you uh, find your earpieces and below that is a nice little semi-rigid fabric covered carrying case and on the other side you get a user manual and below that you get a little disc with six pairs of ear tips they're two different types you get balanced three balance tips and three base ear tips as well so i just thought i would show you that so these are a professional model they are designed for monitoring or live stage performance so they're you know mixing mixing music mixing videos doing live performances all right so as always we're going to have a look at the physical build of the earphones i hope that's in focus if it's not i'm gonna slap someone right they've got these gorgeous silver colored matte finish on it very nice looking little uh, rounded triangle there with the nf logo on the face plate you get the qdc type two pin connectors which are extremely popular at the moment there's a little blue dot there with uh, the nf logo on it fairly short nozzle but it's got a good lip on it holds ear tips on well and that about covers the physical aspects of it they have a bit of little bit of heft to them. They feel fantastic. The build quality is absolutely stellar. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but um, supposedly aviation grade aluminium shell. And yeah, honestly, for something in this price range, these are about as good as you can expect to see in terms of build quality. They are absolutely immaculate. Okay, so how do they feel in your ear? You know, in the NF Audio marketing spiel, they said that they did over 300 uh, fit tests and adjustments, and I'm inclined to believe that because they, they've done a great job with the shape. These are very, very comfortable, and whether you are performing on stage or doing long mixing sessions, or even for that matter, just uh, having a long listening session while enjoying some music. Yeah, they're very comfortable indeed. All right, before we get on to the sound, let's have a quick look at this cable here. It is a fairly nice cable, a Litz cable. At the end here, you've got a straight 3.5 millimeter termination with NF Audio branding on it. It's a twisted four core cable feels nice and smooth in your hands you get this sort of rubberized Y split here with a an aluminium chin slider and at the top preformed ear guides and the QDC type two pin connectors now there is one thing I don't like about this cable and that is the aggressive curvature on the preformed ear guides they're quite stiff and I just don't see the need for it. Yes, it is comfortable. It does sit fairly well in your ear, but I don't think it's necessary. And it just causes the, ta the cable to get tangled up in itself every time you sort of put it down because of those hooks. But apart from that, it is a beautiful cable. Very high quality. Okay, so enough rambling. Let's talk about how these actually perform. And I've got to say, I was quite surprised by these. These sound phenomenal, in a word. They're tuned to be neutral. 
and they've done a really, really good job at that. The sound is very transparent. It's very revealing. Some might call it a little, a little analytical, but there is still a good sense of musicality in there as well. Uh, so let's break it down first into segments. So the overall signature is, is fairly neutral with a little bit of an upper mid-range, lower treble lift, which is just normal. And the bass on these is, wow, it is so good. It's really, really good. These are not a bass head earphone. Remember, we're talking neutral. So the bass is not lifted quantity-wise, but it does have a fantastic extension, really, really good deep reach, and it'll hit those low sub-bass notes and give you a beautiful clean rumble. Sounds fantastic. And even the, even the mid-bass, which has a slight bump in it to carry over a little bit of warmth to the mid-range, even the mid-bass has good impact and it's a fast bass, it's a very tidy bass. Sounds so incredibly natural, the, the uh, attack and decay speed are just spot on. It is a little bit lean, like I say, not boosted in level, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous bass indeed. So moving on to the mid range now, and the mids are just amazing on these. It's not real often you hear a mid range from something in this sort of price range, you know, less than $200 with the resolution that these have. These are incredibly resolving. Every nuance, every detail, the Mid-range notes are uh, neutral, not only in tonality, but in, in note weight and, and density, sort of thickness. So the air between instruments is pure black. You get this nice black background. Every, every little sound is floating through this beautiful clean space. And it's just a wonder to behold. There's a great amount of detail as well macro and micro details are superb now while the while the overall tone of the mid-range is fairly lean uh, i wouldn't call it analytical although you could you could but it does inherit a little bit of warmth from that mid bass bump and that you know fantastic bass reach that it has the extension male vocals I wouldn't call them thin, but they're not sort of rich, they're not lush, but they do have a little bit of warmth for naturalness and they just sound fantastic. So articulate, every little nuance, every detail, really good texture. The mid-range on these is just superb and uh, the more I listen to them, the more I am impressed. I don't think I mentioned the price, these are, the MSRP is $169, which is sort of getting up there, you know, it's a little bit, it's not a cheap earphone, but for what you get, especially if you're using them for monitoring use, these are absolutely fantastic and sort of class leading for that specific purpose. But if you're just an audiophile who wants to enjoy music, these are also absolutely superb. And finally, let's talk about the treble now. And the treble is unremarkable. And in a sense, that is what makes it so remarkable. Because if you're just listening to music, you'll hear the bass, you'll hear all the, all the details, all the, all the stuff going on in the mid range, and you'll sort of concentrate on that. And the treble doesn't really jump out. Um, you, you won't even notice it. But if you stop and listen to it, it is a very, very well done treble. It's accurate. The timbre is spot on. But it is a... Somehow they've managed to do this smooth, airy treble. It's not forward like compared to something like the nice HCK NX7 MK3 or what else have we got in that price range? Even, even the FIO FH3, the treble is not as forward as those. It has a fairly linear presentation, apart from that upper mid bass, 
a little bit of a lower treble lift. Even with that, these do not sound bright and the, the treble is, is not harsh, it's, it's not aggressive, it is just really well done. It reveals a lot of detail, spatial positioning like the, the imaging and the sound stage as well. It, these have a fantastic, fairly large sound stage but the imaging is spectacular, it's very accurate, gives you a really clear idea of exactly where things are laid out on the, in the sound stage. And um, yeah, overall I'm just really, really impressed with these. So to sum up what I like about these, well, I love the accuracy, I love the detail, um, I love their resolution, I like the neutral tone, I love the sub bass extension and I love the very smooth, non-fatiguing, but extremely detailed and precise treble. So overall, I am extremely impressed with these and definitely recommend them. They will uh, absolutely be going on my best IEMs list on the website. Check the description down below for the link to the written review. There's a bit more information, go into a bit more detail and some comparisons there. And yeah, if you are looking for something that is uncolored, a bit more accurate, uh, especially if you are live performing or if you are mixing, mastering and you're looking for a monitor, absolutely check these out. Also, don't forget to check out our Discord channel, Facebook page, all those things, Instagram, all the links are in the description. And that's it for this video. So if you liked this video, give it a like, Parfam audio file style. And if you are new to the channel and you want to see more reviews like this in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you later.